welcome back to part five of Tronics and Ten. We're going to pick up where we left off in part four. We're going to complete our audio amplifier stage. Uh, we're going to install a 4.7K ohm resistor. Uh, color code is yellow, violet, red. And we're going to connect that to the collector lead of our audio output stage, our audio amplifier. We'll get that soldered down. I'm just going to solder the end that goes to the voltage distribution bus because we have a another component that we're going to add to the collector of our audio output stage. Uh, this is a, a capacitor uh, of 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Uh, it's electrolytic so you got to pay attention to the uh, polarity uh, but it will be uh, the DC blocking capacitor where we pick off our, our uh, audio so we're going to uh, install that. Uh, the, the positive lead of this capacitor will go to the collector of the audio output transistor. Okay, now we're going to solder that down. Uh, the positive end of the capacitor along with one end of the 4.7k <coughs> resistor uh, is going to connect to the collector of the audio output stage. Uh, the next uh, item we're going to install is a 33k ohm resistor uh, color code is orange 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 and that's going to connect to the base lead of the audio transistor and the other end will connect to uh, the BCC bus uh, 9 volts And I'm just uh, for now going to solder the end of the resistor that goes to uh, 9 volts because I have an audio coupling capacitor to connect between our low pass filter uh, here and the, uh, the base lead of our audio transistor which is the input uh, so we'll do that now the uh, the minus end of this 4.7 mic uh, capacitor electrolytic capacitor is going to connect to the low pass filter out of that down here just like that and then the, the positive end of the 4.7 mic uh, capacitor will go to the base of our audio transistor Okay, so we have uh, we have two uh, electrolytic uh, capacitors that we just installed. 
uh, this one couples the audio from the low pass filter uh, to the base of the transistor the audio transistor uh, which is a, a 2N3904 uh, MPN transistor and then uh, the other uh, 4.7 mic uh, capacitor uh, connected to the collector of the audio transistor and next we're going to install uh, the load resistor on the negative side of our coupling capacitor where we're going to pick off our, our audio and this will be a, a, a 47k ohm a 47,000 ohm resistor and the color code is yellow violet orange and we'll solder that down next okay we have a uh, one end of our 47 K ohm resistor soldered to ground soldered down on the circuit board and then we're going to take the minus end of our output coupling capacitor the 4.7 mic cap and we're going to connect that to the free end of this uh, load resistor and we're going to solder that down here uh, real real quick um, the load resistor helps reduce uh, uh, the click and pop when you apply power uh, to the, the circuit and it also provides a convenient means to connect uh, the clip leads to uh, this uh, resistor uh, that will drive our computer speaker uh, the next thing uh, left to do is we're going to connect the uh, tune circuit, uh, the very front end of our radio receiver. And I'm going to spin the board around so you can uh, see things a little bit better. Okay, this is uh, the coil and the tuning capacitor that we put together in the very uh, first video of our radio receiver, our uh, pill bottle uh, with the uh, uh, turns of wire uh, that we have and then our uh, blue uh, coupling uh, coil that we uh, wound after we wound the main uh, tuning circuit. And then we have our uh, variable capacitor that we use to tune uh, our station in. So now we're going to take uh, the ground lead and we're going to solder that down to the ground of the circuit board uh, down to the, uh, uh, the the actual copper copper clad and then uh, the positive lead that uh, is yellow in my uh, prototype uh, that's going to connect to the uh, coupling capacitor on uh, our MPF 102 uh, buffer stage and we'll get that soldered down next all that's uh, left to do is to uh, hook up an antenna and uh, some alligator clips to uh, transfer the audio from our radio receiver into our uh, computer okay. we have our computer speaker here and we have the cord coming out and instead of plugging into your mp3 player uh, it's going to connect to uh, our radio receiver by way of, of uh, alligator clips uh, the ground, the very bottom uh, ring, uh, closest to the uh, the connector body, uh, that's ground, and that's going to connect to the ground of the circuit board. And then the green wire will connect to the output uh, capacitor on our MPN audio uh, transistor, and that's going to connect to uh, the very tip of our uh, connector. Uh, from our cable on our 
on our uh, computer speaker. And then over here on our coupling uh, uh, coil, I just have a random piece of coax. Uh, it's like 12 foot long, uh, 12 or 14 foot long, and it runs from my workbench up over the curtain rod of the window in my electronics lab, so it's not a very elaborate antenna. Uh, if you live some distance away from your uh, AM radio stations in your location, you may have to go with a longer wire, say uh, 20 or 30 feet long. Uh, but at night time, you can probably get away with uh, a shorter length of wire uh, like what I have. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to apply 9 volts. Uh, black is uh, ground and uh, red is positive. I have 9 volts coming from my bench power supply, but uh, of course you can run it from a 9 volt battery. It only draws about 5 milliamps, uh, so it'll last a long, long time on a 9 volt battery. So uh, we're going to hook up power here and see if we can pick up something. Well, it's a good sign, right? If everyone's upset, then it's probably a reasonable deal. Um, and I actually thought it was a good fit for both clubs. If you're Seattle, you it's a, a talk station. <laughs> Got some music on that station. Level printers were suddenly spitting out papers with Chinese characters. Investment advisor is Andrew Walter. That's a very open on Saturday. There. Very strong uh, radio station. Right. That last one. Well, there you have it, uh, a three transistor radio that you can make and pick up uh, AM radio stations on. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Tronics in 10, and uh, don't tear apart uh, this because we're going to add some more parts to it, and I'm also going to uh, show you how it works uh, using an oscilloscope in an upcoming video. Thank you for watching. My name is Brian, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh,